Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Star Packing in the video today, and today we're going to be recapping day two of the MLB draft for the Houston Astros, as today for the Astros selected eight players uh, in day two of the MLB draft after selecting two players in day one, in round one and round two, selected Bryce Matthews, a shortstop and also in round two with pick 61 drafted Alonzo Treadwell a right-handed pitcher uh, from UCLA and then Nebraska for Bryce Matthews today they had 18 picks which I liked some of these picks that they made or you know some of them I don't know much about but I've done some research on about if not more than half a little bit more than half of these guys uh, let's get started so with the third with with their third selection of the draft and their first selection of the day in round three with pick 99 the houston astros select jake bloss a right-handed pitcher from georgetown this season jake bloss played in 14 games with the eight and four record with an era of 2.58 um he started he started in 14 games with uh i'm sorry he played 14 games with 13 starts and um was really good at striking out batters in for, for Georgetown this season. Then Cam Fisher. Uh, the Astros selected Cam Fisher with the with a four with in the fourth round with the pick 131. He is from UNC Charlotte. Man, I, I really like this selection. He had 38 home he had 38 home runs with 66 RBIs. Uh, 66 RBIs and a batting average of 348. He's an outfielder. I really like this selection for the Astros. Maybe he can turn into be something for for the Astros in the next couple years potentially. Uh, then the next couple selections, the Astros started to draft some some high school players. Uh, Chase Jawowski, shortstop from Rock Canyon High School, and then Ethan Pecco, right-handed pitcher from Tawson. I believe that is a a high school, but I'm not too sure. I wouldn't be surprised if that is a college, but that does sound like a high school. So decent selections right there. Don't have any stats on those guys. Then with the, but those were the that was with the that was their or Chase jo, Jowalski was their round five one sixty four, and then Ethan Pecco was round six pick one ninety four, right handed pitcher and shortstop. Then the Astros would pick right-handed pitchers back-to-back -back as the Astros would select Joey Dixon, right-handed pitcher from Stanford. I really like this addition as well as Joey Dixon played in 21 games last season with Stanford in 14 starts. Uh, ERA is a little high, but that's okay. 4.73 ERA and did strike out a lot of batters with 90 strikeouts last season. And then, honestly, I got to say, this was... Oh, the next pick was Ryan Johnson, a guy who, um, Ryan Johnson, a second baseman with round eight, 254, pick 254 from Pepper, Pepper, Pepperdine. I, I've never heard of that school. I think it's a high school, but, um, again, that could be a college. I don't have his stats as well, but then the next pick is, uh, is in my opinion, my favorite pick of the whole day. And this is the outsider selecting Jerron Williams. I mean, if you look all around the board, he is a great player. Uh, this season with Jerron Williams from Toledo, this season, 14 home runs, 48 RBIs, a 403 batting average. He, you know, he, he rarely, you know, you rarely see him get out, you know, with a 403 batting average. That's something I like to see. He's very, he's also another very speedy guy. Four triples, 16 doubles, and 49 stolen bases this season at Toledo. Uh, he, he can show his speed with triples, doubles, and stolen bases. Though all those stats are really high. Uh, he's a decent power hitter, hitting 14 home runs this year at Toledo. I really like that addition for the Astros. And then how about this? The Astros selected a two-way player uh, with their last pick of the day from BYU, Austin Dimming. Uh, he is an infielder, mostly plays first base and second base, I believe, and a little bit of third base, but also can be a relief pitcher as well. Uh, did a little bit of relief pitching in B at BYU, but did it at high school as well. This season uh, at BYU had 19 home runs, 68 RBIs, and a 418 batting average. But as well as you know, in his in his college and high school career as a pitcher, has a 3.41 ERA, two saves, and 16 strikeouts. So it'll be interesting to see how the Astros develop him. I do think he will he will not be a pitcher, and he will be. 
you know, an infielder for the Astros in, in the minor system, but uh, maybe the Astros decide they want to make him a two-way player. Who knows? Because uh, he, he definitely is a decent pitcher. is a better, you know, hitter than he is a pitcher, but definitely is decent. Really, well, he's really good at He's a really good hitter, but he's a really decent pitcher as well. Uh, but the Astros' last pick of the day was Austin Dimming, a infielder from BYU. So, full recap, um, pick 99, round three, Jake Bloss, a Georgetown right-handed pitcher, uh, pick 131, round four, Cam Fisher, an outfielder from UNC Charlotte. Uh, round five, pick three of the day. And pick 164, Chase Jaworski, a shortstop from Rock Canyon High School. And then then next pick, round six, pick pick 194, right-handed pitcher Ethan Pecco from, from Tawson. And then... Next, their next pick was round seven, pick two twenty four, right handed pitcher Joey Dixon, um, from from Stanford. Then round eight, pick two fifty four, second baseman Ryan Johnson from Pepper Pepperdine, and then my favorite pick of the day, round nine, pick two eight four, shortstop Jerron Williams, and then the last pick of the day, round two, pick three one four, infielder. First baseman and second baseman and relief pitcher Austin Deming. Really like what the Astros did in this draft today. Uh, as Dana Brown's second day of drafting for the Astros as, as the general manager did really solid yesterday. I think he had a really another solid day in the draft for the Astros. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out. Go Astros.